which appears like a day well anticipated by the supporters of the Labour Party. That's what the murder around Lekos Salami Stadium suggests. <laughs> Tight security at the gate, everyone goes through the rigor. Party chief teams and those contesting under the party's platform in the southwest are also here. They all wait for the arrival of the party's flag bearer, Mr. Peter Obi. At about 3.30 p.m., the chopper conveying the presidential candidate lands at the venue with his supporters on hand to welcome him. The Pan Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Fenferi Pa Yadibanjo, is also here to lend his support as he maintains his stance on rotational presidency among other issues. Is it fair for another Yoruba man to vie for the presidency after Chief Volusia Gombasio and Gulob Jonathan? What about the Igbo people? Aren't they Nigerians too? as the turn of the good people to be president. The vice presidential candidate, Dr. Yusuf Dati Daba Ahmed, speak on what their party represents. the time everyone has been waiting for. The presidential candidate says equity and justice will renew people's hope. election is less than 100 days away and as political parties intensify their campaign activities traversing the length and breadth of the country the labor party in its drive to create an offset is promising a turnaround of the current situation in the country yes my people that is the video you just watched peter will be yeah coming uh, in and how is you know we brought you up to speed that um, his plane was granted in lagos as if that was not enough, he had to come in late, you know, because he had to get a, sh a chopper. You can see the chopper coming in. People waited till about 3, 3, 3.30 or so for the presidential candidate of the party to come in. People had to wait, you know, for the presidential candidates to come in, you know. So that's how he came in. And when he came in, this is what happened. You saw that um, when he came in, you saw, uh, you know, uh, Ayu Adebanjo, you saw him, you know, saying it is not time for, you know, any, you know, it is not time for, you know, uh, another um, Yoruba man to take on, you know, he said it is time for, you know, uh, it, it is time for another tribe. It is time for another people. Now, we're not just saying this to say, you know, Peter will be, you know, is, um, you know, is just because he's an Igbo man, he must be voted for. That's not the point of call. It's not because he's an Igbo man, he should be voted for. Okay? It's not because an Igbo man, he should be voted for. Now, what happened is that this guy, this guy today, you know, is competent. You know, somebody who has led Anambra State before and did not owe, you know, a single salary and what have you. That's the kind of person, you know, who, who worked and ensured that things were done decently and in order. Okay? 
So this is what is going on right now. This is what is going on. And every one of us can see. Okay, everyone can see exactly what is happening and we all can really, you know, begin to pay attention and understand that one critical thing, very, very important and it really matters is that we all must ensure that we are voting in the right candidates. We are not um, allowing things to slide because it has become expedient. It's become very important that every one of us, okay, must do what is absolutely right and necessary and get Nigeria to where it ought to be. The days upon us have come to show to us that um, it is becoming the dawn of a new day and we cannot afford, okay, to, to just bring in anybody. You know, you can see the, the response, you know, as soon as he came in, how, you know, the people received him. The, 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 I mean, guess what? Go and investigate. It's not like uh, he has dropped money for some people. Like he will always tell you, no shishi, okay, no shishi. This is just Nigerians saying things as it is. And I'm saying, you know, you know, it is time for everyone to, you know, for us to get, to get that, you know, to get, to get the right president and to get the right people. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And every one of us must ensure that things are done decently and in order. So Nigerians, it is what it is. And it is the dawn of a new day. We must begin to, you know, put things in order, you know, and make Nigeria a better place. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on. These are some of the things that are happening. And um, in case you are not aware, Nigeria has become that place, you know, where some people uh, are trying to make it their own family and her heritage, where it is their dynasty. They are going from father to son. OK, they are going from father to son and they want to keep Nigeria, you know, in their own very pockets. So these are some of the things that are going on. Can you see for yourself? Can you see for yourself what exactly is going on here? Anyway, my people, you can see that uh, we need to move and we need to move now. Okay, we need to move and we need to move now. Yes, please remember that we need to get in the right candidate and get Nigeria to where it ought to be. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Remember that every one of us must speak out and ensure that we get the right people in the right offices. God bless. Bye for now. Bye-bye.